Is it raining at your end? Like, just imagine that it's raining and I'm here. Me that's in my head, I'm outside in that rain, naked, trying to do something, and it's not raining. That rain better wait for me to finish, because when I finish, oh God. If you know what balcony does during raining season, if you have a balcony and I know it's in during raining season, then I don't know what you're doing. Trust me. Your balcony is not just there for you to sit and look at things. It's also there for you to, you know, use and explore, you know, experiment, be adventurous. I know a lot of you just sit at the balcony, you do be boring, watch people that walk pass by, you know, and all those things. But how many of you actually spread your legs during the rain, right? Rainy season, you know, midnight, at night, you know, getting at that same spot where you look at people. Knowing fully well that you can see the, the stars, you know, knowing fully well that, you know, everywhere is dark and calm and they are trying not to make too much noise so that you don't attract people. Sometimes certain weather is all you pray for, especially with all the heat we have, you know, in this part of the world now. When rain comes, you know that mm -mm. it feels like that's, that hell is closed. Because some, I just sometimes feel like someone left hell and didn't close the door, basically. That's why the heat is much. And it's so bad that you're sweating with everything. But trust me, with this kind of weather, I really want to say I'm fucking sorry for starting late. And I really mean I'm fucking sorry because this rain is making me feel so wet. I'm just imagining things in my head. And I, I wish that I could just, you know, go out in the rain and, you know, do this in the rain without feeling bad or, you know, doing my thing, basically. Yeah. But not for you guys to watch, though. Just for me to enjoy. Anyways, welcome to another episode of Late Now with Soul Spice. Like, the last time I was on this particular show, right, we talked about 10 things men, you know, the worst things they do in bed, right? And I spoke extensively about the men. The things they do wrong in bed that they just didn't know was wrong. You know, um, and I got a lot of people reaching out to say, oh, I didn't know this was wrong. You know, I'm just trying to be me. You know, I, w I was hoping that if I do this, it will make her feel good. No. No. But that being said, I'm also going to say this. Now, whatever I'm going to be telling you tonight, is not 100% true. Let me make it clear. Whatever I'm going to be saying tonight is not 100% true. I can tell you it's 90% true. Why am I taking away 10? I'm taking away 10 because whatever it is, science or statistics is, uh, right, might be wrong for a very few people on earth. Just as science says, oh, it's, you know, um, within three to seven minutes of penetration. But there are people who naturally want, you know, an hour. And these people didn't, they probably, they probably don't even use anything. But naturally, just want to just keep pounding me. You know, so statistics and science most times are not 100% true. So this is what I'm saying. Whatever I tell you, please, it is 90% true. Maybe not 100 a lot of them might be able to relate with it, but some people probably might not be able to relate with it. And the reason I'm saying this is because even these things I'm going to talk about, I have one or two that even myself can't relate with. And I'm wondering, eh, is it possible? But it is what it is, basically, right? And so before I go on, please do follow me at Sex Talk with Soul Spice on Instagram and at Sex Toys with Soul Spice underscore or at Sex Toys with Soul Spice underscore backup on instagram as well that's our sex toy page right and don't forget to follow us at this is pop central the only tv station that pops sex to your tv screen um all we do on this show is bring your fantasy to reality and tonight i'm going to tell you the 10 worst things women do in bed hmm. come in here ask yourself what are those things you do that you probably didn't know are wrong do you think you do anything wrong? I know a lot of you say, oh, no, I don't do anything wrong, but just wait, calm down. Don't be in a hurry. Listen to me while I let you in on all of these 10 things and then you can pick which one belongs to you. 
note i am not saying don't do them outrightly and i'm not saying do them i'm only saying pay attention to what you do in bed because for a lot of people or a lot of men it might not work but for some men very few men it probably would be those things that turns them on so the question is where do you belong in all of this and what really would work for you somehow i feel i have a lot of wicked people in the studio but that being said it's okay right um it's raining out there and um i feel like the rain is going to bring a whole lot of you know calmness and wetness and you know you name it anyways um tonight we're talking about 10 biggest mistakes women make in the bedroom right um, like I said, during our last episode, we talked about these 10 things men do wrong. A lot of them didn't know they, they were doing wrong, right? And a lot of them have, you know, decided, you know, to change and do it right. Now, drum roll. The first greatest mistake women make in bed, and I see this as one of the most wicked things, right? we do i'm saying we because i'm also a woman but i don't do it anyways i think at this point of my life like at this age and at this level of my marriage right like why on earth would i want to do that i don't pass that level. if you know the work you know the work oh how well, far it's not working let's calm down what's the issue we'll talk about it i will dive right back in right stop faking it that's one of the greatest mistake you can do now you feel that a lot of women fake it because they don't want to bruise his ego as they always say they don't want it to feel bad you know they don't want to look as if he's not good in bed they don't want to look as if they are um, prostitutes they've been with other men oh you've been doing bad things you know. <sighs> excuse me so they lie so much and pretend like oh everything is fine oh yes I do. <sighs> i'm coming you are coming nowhere and you know you're not going anywhere. You know you're still there, not going anywhere. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Coming here. You lie too much. Stop faking it. If it's not working, it is not working. I think women should get to that point of saying, you know what? Not tonight, it's not working. Right? And then if truly it's not working, the question is why is it not working at that point in time? You know, are, are you emotionally down? Are you hurting? Are you angry about something? You know, are you stressed out? You know, you know, is are you just not yourself basically, right? If you can identify what the issue is, it is easier and faster to solve the problem. So I, I give you an example, right? So Many years ago, right, my husband was in the country and, you know, I had to go visit him. And, you know, this anticipation of oh, when I get that way, fuck, I would do this. Ah, from the kinecon, we we'll do this one, we we'll do that one. You know, the mindset of I can't wait, ah, is in my body. I've been waiting. When I catch this guy, I will finish the man. I don't plan on the adventure. I always want to do the styles, you know, the levels, you know, how I want to do it. You know, you know, I always say a lot of women have so much fantasy you know you have you create you have more sex in your head than in reality and so on this particular day i've done like 10 rounds with my head i'm gonna do <laughs> i've done everything everything thinkable everything doable i've done it in my head and i planned it sorry jesus Christ, i don't plan on if i enter from here car go down see again bam Planner. <laughs> Sister, bed planner. Anyways, let me cut the story short. I landed and I got to the airport, you know, hoping to see my sweet husband that has not seen his wife, you know, in months. You know, the guy should be waiting for me at, you know, at the, uh, at the airport, you know, with flowers you know, or something, you know, basically. So in my head, I was like, ah, this man, oh, can we just see his face? I can't do um, story. I landed, go to the airport. I called and called and called the guy, but I did not pick. But there was nowhere to be found at the airport. Apparently, he was in for a meeting and he sent someone to pick me up. You know, with um, yeah, with my daughter, right? He asked someone to pick myself up. I'm the kids there. There were two. 
Yeah, I've had two left, right? But they were pretty young. And so uh, this particular guy walked up to me, picked us up, and went back to his apartment. Now, when he got back, he got back with the mindset of, you know, the same said, don't plan and say, ah, more. You know, like 10 rounds, we'll go this time, we'll go do everything. He came back with that vibe. Ah, I missed you, you know, babe, let's get down. Ah, just tired this thing, I'm not feeling it. Ah, we started this, I'm not feeling it. We moved from the sitting room to the bedroom. To, ah, and I'm like, you know what, uncle, uncle, stop, 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 I'm not feeling this. I'm like, ah, you're not feeling the bow. We have not done this in most. How ah, can you say you're not feeling it? Is there somebody else there? There's nobody coming about. I'm not just feeling it. You know, and I kid you not, we practically stopped halfway. We sat down, right? And I'm saying we sat down wrong. If you know what sitting down wrong means, like we sat down the way we were born, right? We sat down naked. And it's, we sat down and we talked about it, you know. And then he's like, why are you not feeling what is wrong? You are supposed to be into me. I'm like, yeah. But he didn't pick me up at the airport. So that was the problem. You did not pick me up at the airport because I already planned for quite a while. I had my plans. You know, how I'll be rubbing ties on the car on our way, you know, that kind of thing. I'm a brew gone now, you know. Something that you have not seen in a while. You know, like, you, you're not at the airport, you know. You're not picking your calls. Then he sent someone to pick me up. And I'm here. You left me at home. You didn't come straight home. You're supposed to be home. You know, that kind of thing. If you truly have missed me. And I'm like, okay, calm down. First, I was in a meeting. You know, I'm supposed to be at work. I'm not supposed to leave my work to come and pick you up, you know. I came as soon as I could and, you know. So by the time he explained his own part of, oh, he had to do a meeting, someone came, there was an international one, one, they had a board meeting, one, I was like, okay. So I had to calm down, right? Now, what happened at that point? The emotions of him not meeting up the picture I had painted was a problem. I had painted the picture. Don't forget, I painted the picture myself, by myself, for myself. It wasn't like we painted it together, right? I planned it in my head. I played it out, how the orgasm will come. You know, how the, you know, the dick rise will start from the car, you know. I had played it out in my head, only for him to see a guy like, Adeli, who are you? You know, so we sat down, we talked about it, we discussed it, and I realized I had judged him, you know, without knowing. He really wanted to deliver, he couldn't have been there at that point in time. You know, so I had to, you know, let it go. After listening to his own part of the story, I had to let it go, and then... We went back into it almost immediately. Oh, more. I'm do for, you know. So at that point, because he had explained, you know, so the anger was no longer there. You know, the, the frustration was no longer there, you know. And there was, oh, he really wanted to be with me. He just couldn't. Oh, he planned all this for me. Oh, he did this right. And it was a smooth one. I could have continued at that point in time to say, you know, just fuck and go. But I didn't want fuck and go because for crying out loud, I, I, uh, you know what you want something, you know what you want. And they are not getting what you want. Like, I can't get anything else. If I'm going to fuck, let me fuck with pride. You know, and that was it. So for a lot of you, that might not work. If you stop your husband, that's the end. Don't go and stop your man in the year or do no. Right? But the truth about it is this. When it's not working, when, when you're not feeling it right, when it's not connecting with you, it is okay to let your partner know, like, you know what, uh, this is not working. You know, this is how I feel. And then you need to go back to the foundation. Why are you feeling this way? Are you stressed out? Are you not happy? Is there a target that you just can't meet? You know, is there something that is happening? You know, is, is anything happening to you mentally? You know, is anything happening to you, happening to you at work? Is it about the kids? It's all about your business. You need to break it down. Like, what is the problem? And when you're able to identify what the problem is, it's easier, you know, to dive out of it. If I had not spoken up my mind at that point, you know what? I didn't like the fact that you were not there to pick me up. I wanted you, you know, I wanted you beside me. I wanted, you know, the ties that I could touch. I wanted the chest or the back of your neck that I could touch whilst driving, and it was not there. It was a mental picture that I painted that never came to life, right? And so I think that was where the anger came from. So don't fake it. If it's not working, let your partner know. I always tell people, especially before marriage, if it's not working, please, that's the best time, you know, to 
bruise his ego. We are, really, we are basically not bruising his ego. You're just letting him know, you know, it's not working. So what can he do to make it work? You know, what are the steps? What are the things you're looking at for? What are the things you want to make, you know, to make it work? But when you continuously lie, ah, oh, oh, yeah, give me. And then you marry and it's not working again. And because the, the thing is, before marriage, you can, you can hide it. In marriage, you can't. It's just a matter of time. One, two, three, four, five years, you would backfire, right? You would face him. You would hit the wall and say, you know what, guy, I'm not feeling this thing. And then the man will be wondering, so are you saying that all that I've been doing now is all lies? So I've never been good. So he'll be lying. To, so he will take it back to the beginning to say, oh, you've been lying to me. So in other words, I've never been good. I've never satisfied you. So you've been lying to me, Abby. And so you, at that point, not just bruising his ego. You are shattering, you are, you are tearing it with knife. This is why I said, please do not fake. If it's not working, it is not working. If it's not working, let your partner know it's not working and let them fix it. It should both of you get to fix it. But if you know it's not working and you want to keep quiet, let me see. Wait on. Just know that it's never going to work again for you because you have to learn to take whatever it is you get. I, I remember I started the um, the show by saying I have some wicked people, but somehow I think you know probably because of the rain they're not that wicked. They are you know they are becoming soft. But you know tonight we're talking about you know the ten greatest mistakes women make in bed, and one I talked about you know why we don't talk about it, right? Why we fake it? If it's not working, like I said, let them know it's not working. If it's okay by you, it's okay. If it's not okay, please speak up. Don't pretend. At the end of the day, it's going to backfire. Right? Now, number two that women do in the bedroom. Now, note that these 10 things, I had to practically shuffle them. There are a whole lot of things. You can get as much as 20 and all. But getting this time, like, you know what? Mm -mm -mm. I need to shuffle it, right? Now. Number two is asking questions during sex. Auntie, who taught you that rubbish? Somehow we always feel like when men are having sex, right, their brain is in the penis. Like they don't have brain again. Like they are mum. So that's what I mean, asking questions. Hey, baby, ah, that's a million. Are you going to give me? They've told you, Abby, that when you're on top, they're like, my mother, will always, my mother will always say, um, you know, when you understand how to ask a man for something, he never says no. So I was forced to want to say, okay, mommy, how do I even ask, you know, this your son for something that he will not say? I'm like, ah, you will be, you go low, go fatal. You know, now when you're on top, you ask him, I say, eh, when I'm on top, okay. That was how I got to. I was now on top. Something that he has said no. I said to my mother, I said, be on top. Maybe when I'm on top, you know, like as if, you know, when you climb them, their brain does not work again. You know, that was the mindset. I said, you know what? Let me be on top and ask. Oh, that was how I was on top. Oh, would you? Oh, I, well, I just threw in the question. My mama like, babe, my brain is in my brain. It's in my head. It's not in my penis. And I'm still saying, you know, so don't think sex will make me say yes. No, it's not like, ah, oh. ah, oh, daughter, man, you know. But guess what? I never use sex, sex for him again. Because I realized with my husband, whether you're on top or you're under, no matter how sweet, is no, is no, his yes, is yes. So if you want to convince him, you have to go another route. But using sex, ah, uh, or using food, error. they are not about it, right? So stop asking questions. Right, stop asking questions. Are you enjoying it? Is it good? You know, I know a lot of times when you when you read um, a lot of um, write up on social media, tell you or ask questions. You know, usually tell the men ask you you know ask her questions. You know, is she enjoying it? You know, is this how she likes it? Like, guy, don't freaking ask questions. Just keep quiet and fuck me. Right, keep quiet and fuck. Why do you want to be asking me questions? You can ask me when I'm done, but whilst I'm in the mood, whilst we are, you know, doing our thing, do not ask any question, right? So, yes, women, you know, um, stop with the questioning. You know, where were you? 
Oh, is she better than me? Is, is this how she fucks you? You must then turn them off without knowing. And this is why you hear some women say, oh, so for half down the line, right, his penis is not working. His penis has dropped. It is bound to happen, right? Another thing is, <clears throat> women, get out here. Why is that every time you are done having sex, you want to walk away from the bedroom? You want to run out of the bed to the bathroom. I know, I get it. We always say, oh, clean up after sex, right? But for crying out loud, sometimes stay back and get a hug, you know, cuddle. You know, don't, ugh. Stop running. Nobody's pursuing you, right? Um, a lot of times we feel men don't deserve anything. We feel they don't deserve that hug. We feel they don't deserve, you know, cuddling. We feel they don't deserve a lot of things. But you see, in every man we see, there's a baby, right? There's a baby that wants to be pampered. There's a baby that needs to be, you know, touched. There's a baby that needs to be fed, right? And so don't think, oh, these men are strong, they're strong. No. See, all those strong men, see, outside, those women that don't smile, go and check them behind closed doors. It will shock you. It will shock you to your bone that these men don't play. They don't play. They are, mm, they know what they want. Right? So I'm going to say, stop jumping out of bed to the bathroom. <laughs> ah, guess what? You just calm down. You will talk. Or you're going to the bathroom, or you don't just get up and straight to the kitchen. They're doing this. I'm like, just stay beside him. You know, so yeah, stop jumping out of bed. It's a no no for women, right? That's three, right? Um, seeing love making as a choice, another problem. Why is every time we see it, ah, oh, God, we have to go to the studio? Oh, ah, oh, God, we have to clean. Ah, oh, God, oh. I don't want to have sex with me again. I'm tired, Joe. But you know, before I would, I need to rest. Every time you're tired, you're really tired, right? So I hope you will not complain when it stops coming or when it stops asking for it, right? Because most times we feel, oh, eh, I'm just tired. I'm not in the mood. It's a chore. You know, my back is spinning me. Ah, my head, oh, God. Some people even take fake jokes for no reason. Headache is for me. This one is just because it's either a yes or a no, right? And so don't see love making as a chore. I understand some of you are not enjoying it. You just have to open it and go and go. But a lot of times, you need to in intentionally, you know, enjoy your sex and you need to intentionally bring it to life, right? And so if it's not working, if a certain feeling is not working or a certain way, then change it try something new but don't see it as a child oh, yeah. <laughs> ah. mm. your body releases what you tell your brain your brain takes information to your body and so please i beg you sex is not a chore you know a lot of times um women say ah we cannot come and kill me oh you have a caller right Okay, so women say, oh, don't come and kill me for my father, or I knock your father, or, you know, that kind of thing, and I pass across, you know, what, um, you know, what you think is right. Sex is not a chore. Sex is something you're expected to enjoy. Sex is your life. Sex is that thing that you should look forward to doing. I know you might not look forward to sex every time, as a married man. Even me, let me know, I don't look forward to it every time. Let me tell you the times I don't look forward to sex, right? Times when I'm asleep. I probably just jumped into bed at that time and then you're using sex to disturb me. Or time when I, when I just started sleeping, you know, you are just sleeping. Sleep just to start. You never, the journey never long and they are waking you back to the idea of freak. You know, okay, we have a caller. Like, Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Now with Soul Spice. Hello. Okay, we lost that call. Right? And so, I'm just saying, don't, right? It's not a chore. It's, it's a joyful thing. And it's not every time you have sex that you want to penetrate. Sometimes just massage yourself, you know, give yourself a kiss, you know, six minutes kiss minimum. You know, enjoy it. That way it's easier for you to, you know, um, 
to get certain hormones instead of hormones, you know, like happy hormones, hormones that make you feel good, right? And that way it's easier for you to enjoy it rather than see it as a job. Do we have a caller? Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Now with Soul Spice. Hello? Hello? Oh, I think we lost that person, right? Now, how many have even talked about that? We've talked about... Um, um, We've talked about um, seeing um, love making as a chore. We've talked about um, jumping out of bed, bed jumpers. <laughs> We've talked about um, not asking stupid questions during sex, right? We've talked about that one. We also talked about, um, you know, not faking it, right? Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Now with Soul Spice. Um, if you're just joining, I'm saying welcome. Um, don't bother to change the channel. Um, tonight we're talking about 10 greatest mistakes women make in bed. And so far I've given them four. Um, I know you want to know before, right? Uh, you have to wait to watch this, ep this particular episode again. That would be the punishment because you know that the show starts by 10 p.m. And if I say I'm in class, you're your own, right? So we've talked, about, uh, we've talked about four out of everything so far, right? So the question with this for is where exactly do you belong? Which of these things... You do, They're like ah, so spicy, it's okay. You know, you know, you lie, you know, to make him for you know, you ask unnecessary questions during sex. You know, you know that you fake it, so you're not enjoying it, but you think it's actually just to do. No, it's not just to do, it's just to do it well, right? You have to do it well. And then for um, the four people, those of you that run into the bathroom, they're looking for them, it's all just you, right? So, yeah, number five. This one is very rampant. Very good. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Now with Soul Spice. Good evening. Could you please turn on the volume of your TV set, please? Oh, oh so we lost her, right? Please um, do feel free to come, um, call back. I'm just praying that this rain will not mess up our network. You know, Ninja, once rain falls like this, it's gone. Anyways, um, number six, we've talked about four, yeah. So number five, and this thing here, yeah, a lot of men complain about it every time. Women don't initiate enough. I know a lot of times we've been told, oh, you are the receiver. You're supposed to be the one on the floor, or on the bed. You know, you're supposed to be the one with your back, you know, on the floor so that he's on top. Because mm -hmm. you receive, but I don't want to give. Auntie, you better start giving. You had better start giving, right? Which means you have to learn to initiate, learn to um, start it, learn to touch, learn to kiss, learn to romance. Start it. It is not every day. Open you up, close you, close. Open you up, close you. Abba, come on. What about those times where you are, um, when you ovulate? What about those times where you're in the mood? For some, for, for some guys, they don't even need to ovulate. There are times that you just, just want to knock, like, and the only thing I'm going to say, oh, God, I want to sleep with my wife. I'm still going to say it's not all men that cheat, so don't, don't bring that to me, right? But, you know, not initiating is a huge problem in so many homes. You know, women have decided to leave that part of sex to men. You know, forgetting that actually we are alpha women now. Yeah, now. You have to learn to initiate. So what are those things you might need, you know, for you to initiate is courage. Calm down. You don't need any fear. Let it go, right? What you basically need is courage. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Now with Soul Spice. Hello? Hello? Uh, who lost that call, right? Uh, thanks to the drop. Right, so yeah. Love making is no big deal, right? So don't make it look like it's one. All you need to do is just be yourself. I always have to let yourself go. Until you let yourself go, you never understand the strength of it. Let yourself go and you will see the difference. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Now with Soul Spice. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Man, where are you calling from, please? I'm calling from Abuja. From Abuja. Okay, do you have a question for me or you want to join the conversation? 
Actually, I have, a, I have an issue. Okay, I'm all ears. My wife put to bed um, last year, and um, today is my son's uh, birthday. I think she put to bed. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yes, so she put to bed. I've never touched my wife till today, as I'm speaking to you. My sex urge died. Hold on, it. hold on. You said since she put to bed, right? Since she put to bed. And when was this? I said since my wife put to bed. Mm -hmm. I've never touched her till today. Why? Why, if I may ask, what's the reason? Mm, actually, I don't really know. My first touch just died like that. And I've been trying to, like, okay, like as a matter of fact, Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I'm with you, sir. As a matter of fact, um, I have girlfriends outside. I just looked with them. Apart from her, which probably I knew that I'm cheating on her. Then she, as a wife at home, mm. my sex thought just died low for her. So what will I do to bring it back? Let your girlfriend go. Let your girlfriend go. Hello? Can you I hear can me? Hear you. you said what? I, I said, let your you girlfriend go. Okay. That's how you get it back. Because it's, it's like saying that, you know, you want to eat your cake and have it. You can't. You can't have sex with a side chick, you know, who turns you on, who makes you feel like, oh, I can't wait to show her. I can't wait to deal with her. And then you want to come on and have the same feeling. It's not done. So if you really want to get the spark back, let that girlfriend go. That's rule number one. So that your mindset is not diverted, right? And your attention is also not diverted. And that way you can focus on your wife. So when, how, long, how long have you not slept with her for? Like how many months? No, what I think anyway. You say what? How long? You said what? I didn't tell you. Can you come again? I said, how long have you not slept with your wife? This is a year now. A year? So they're making it a year. Yes. Yes. So how would you feel? Let me ask you, right? How would you feel if you found that, that your wife has um, another man? And for one year, she refused to allow you to touch her. How would that make you feel? Actually, I'll feel bad that um, to my culture, there's no way she would do it. She can't do it. Why do you think? What, what's it about your culture? Why do you think she can't do it? She can't. She can't. Why? Because we have uh, the place. Well, let me ask. Let me tell you now. Yeah. Where we came from, mm. we have um, we have a culture that guides us with the men mm. that your wife cannot go out and cheat on you, and if you eventually do it, and you. You eat her food. The gods of the land will catch up with you. And they will definitely know this is the affirmation that she commits. So there's no way she can do it. There's a place, there's there something in my place which they call Alepo in my oh. place. I'm from Benue Bay, the Joma by tribe. Okay. So there's no way she can do it. So the best way she wants to do it now is for her to quit the marriage. Then the money that is paid as a bride price will respond back to me. Then she can go and separate with me. Are you for real? But a, yes, what, I'm telling you but a man is allowed to cheat, right? Eh? But a man is allowed to cheat. Yes, the man has the right to do whatever he wants to do. Does your wife know you have a girlfriend? Mm, she suspects me, kind of. She has reported me to my mom. And she has reported me to my siblings. Mm. And I think she knows. She knows. But I'm still denying it. When okay. I was speaking to you, she's not in Abuja right now. She's in Lagos. But she's coming back tomorrow morning to Abuja. And then I promised her that let just give her a set of time. When our son completed the one year, then we'll start. So probably as she's coming back tomorrow, she'll be expecting it that, okay, my sex mood should have changed towards her. I'll try, more. I'll try what I can do. 
So the truth, the truth is, if you don't let your side chick go, there is no way you're going back to your wife, and that's the that's the basic truth, right? Um, the only thing that can draw attention to your wife for you, it is when you find out that there's another man around the corner, right? But as long as you are having it outside, of course, it says stolen water is very sweet, right? The one at home is yours, so why would you want it? And you see, your wife not being bothered is not because she doesn't want sex. Don't get it twisted. For a whole year, you didn't touch a woman, and you think it's normal, right? The reason why she's not bothered is because she knows you're cheating. And you see, women get to a point where they just don't care anymore. Like I talked about, you move them to the wall and they just don't care. Like, do whatever you want to do and they're going to do whatever they want to do. But trust me, I know you're having fun with this side chick, but I'm going to tell you, you're messing up your home. You're messing up your future. Because basically, your wife is the one at home. And if that woman at home is not happy, it's going to affect you on every level. It might not work now. You might not see anything now. But one day, it will come. That's, that's how it is, right? Um, the truth is, I know that uh, hearing the truth might not, uh, might not sit well with you, right? And I understand that it might not be that easy, you know, to hear me say these things. But you cannot, you cannot have a baked cake at home, right? And then you're going for an ice cream cake with icing outside. And you want to come back to your cake. No, you always want the one outside. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Hours Old Spice. Oh, we lost the color, right? So, the young man who called might not understand to what extent he's damaging this woman. Infidelity is one of the strongest things, right? Or things that, you know, has damaged or is still damaging marriages. Um, a lot of times women shut down mentally even before they walk away. The woman can shut down for like 10 years and she's still in that marriage or she's gone. But you see, it takes them time to build the courage physically to walk away. And so if, you, if you're saying it's okay for you to do and she can't do it, then Hello? you might want to think twice. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Now with Old Spice. Hello, how can you see? Good evening. Many where you're calling from, please. I'm calling from uh, From where? Ebony State. Ogun State. Okay. So uh, tell me, do you have a question or you want to join the conversation? Um, I have a question. Okay. I'm all ears. Like, it's about my um fiance. Okay, so, what about uh, her? Like she doesn't like whenever we sex, she won't let me start using a con. If you don't what? When I want to have a sex, yeah. she won't let you do it without a condom. She doesn't want to have sex without a condom. Yeah. But you won't use the condom. No, like she's the one that wants to. You don't want a condom? Yeah. Okay, so let me ask you. Are you ready to be a father? Yeah. It's a yes or a no. Are you ready to be a father? Yes, I'm ready to be a father. But she's not trusting you. I don't know. She's not trusting you? Yeah. Do you have your own house where you live? Yeah, I have my own you have your own house where you live? Yeah. And you have a good job? Yeah. So why have you not paid a bride price? The problem is that it's not about getting married. The exact people to get married because we don't want to push up the wedding. So now, I'm not actually going to push about family stuff. So you're yeah. pushing the wedding to when? Actually, we do like that next next two months. Your wedding is next month. Yeah. But you have not decided on dates. I have not started planning. 
Voici plein de livres. Voici plein de livres. So don't worry. So probably she wants to wait till marriage, right? Um, the way we are trained is different and our mindset is different. He probably feels, you know, well, let me stay at home. You know, she feels he's not married to me yet. You know, I need to do it right. So I'm really not going to blame her if she says, uh, you know, she wants to work on it. She's also trying to protect herself. Probably she's not ready for, you know, a baby out of wedlock, right? Um, it is very easy for a man to do, but it's not easy for a woman because nine months of her life goes away with this pregnancy. He practically will do everything with the pregnancy, you know. And I tell people, if you're not ready for diaper, if you're not ready for wipes, wipes alone are like 27,000, right, for a carton of wipes. From 27 to like 30K, they're about for a carton of wipes. You know, diaper is like 10K or so. If you're not ready, don't do it. So she's thinking for you. Right, so probably after your wedding, then you can, ah, I think I knock anyhow. You know, nobody will fault you. She wouldn't even ask for a condom. Another reason why some women just want condoms because they don't trust the men. They want to be sure that they are safe with the kind of man they are sleeping. The man is their man, but you know that it's not all your man that you can trust, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, just give her time. Wedding is around the corner. Let's get married and you dive into sex. At least that way she won't ask for condom again. You can go as raw as you want. Okay. No Is that okay by you? Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for calling. Okay. Okay. So I know the phone line has been buzzing. People want to call in. People want to share their own. But trust me. Tonight is basically not an open mic. I hope you guys know. So I want to set me up. It's not an open mic day. Right, um, it's just a day where I come to you know talk about certain topics and elaborate on them. Hello, good evening, welcome to Late Now with Soul Spice. Stephen, calling back from Abuja again. Oh, hi, thank you so much for calling back. Yeah, so I'm all I was the one who was talking to you about my wife, and yes. I've not been yes. with my wife for like one year, exactly. So, I want to know what would I do? What would you? What would I do? What would you do? Yes, it's a big problem to me now, and I want to take my responsibility to her. So what would I do? So what is most important to you, your marriage or your girlfriend? Ah, my marriage and my kid, number one. No. Number one. So let me ask mm. you, if your marriage and your kid is number one, so I want to believe your wife is part of your marriage and your kid, number one, right? Yes. So why do you hurt that woman so much if she means so much to you? Why do I do what? Why do you hurt her so much if she means so much to you? Right. Please, I can't. Can barely hear you. Can you come again? Because I turned down the volume of my TV set. I said, why do you hurt your wife so much if she means so much to you? Uh, actually, I wouldn't say that. I hurt. Yes, actually, I would say yes, I do. I hurt her better. I just like the feeling just died off. Let me use that word. The feeling just died off. It's going to die. So it's like. It's like a child who, you know, you have a pencil, right, that you've been working with. All of a sudden, someone gives you a colorful pencil. The old pencil, even if they give you, like, I don't want it, that new one is what you want, which is what the side chick is. Side chick is not yours. Side chick is not your wife. Side chick, you don't see them every time. Side chick, you don't see them when they're angry. You don't see them, you know, when they clean, when, when they clean the house, when they do the chores, when they handle the kids, right? Side chick is always there because you have to pay her bills. And so she's always ready for you, clean, beautiful, you know, sexy. But you cannot put your wife on the same level with your side chick. If you want to put your wife on that same level, then probably, you know, get her house help, let her not do anything, let her dress up for you. But trust me, you also want to be a husband, you want her to cook for you, you know, make, make your house clean, you know, take care of the kids, you want to say, oh, this is my wife. But the truth is, how happy is that woman you call a wife? Is she really happy being your wife? Or she just thought she's there? When you are done with the side chick, you will come home to her. Because if you tell me in a whole year you're married to a woman and you have not touched her once, I don't understand. Then you're roommates. You're no longer husband and wife. You're roommates. But now the question is, how do you solve this? So I'm asking you, are you willing to let go of your side chick? Yes, I'm, yes, I am. Why not? 
So what are you doing about that? Why not? When are you planning to let her go? When am I planning to do what? To let her go, the side chick. When are you planning to let her go? Mm, actually, what happened? I will put call through her tomorrow morning. Then I will, I will just open up to her. That you know. And you think she will just walk away after one year like that? Why not? She has to go. She doesn't have any other option. I didn't bring her to my own house. We do have in um, we stay in the hotel and do whatever I want to do. But you I don't have to bring her home. You don't think your side chick has feelings. You don't think she wants to call your wife and say, ah, I'll be sleeping with your husband. No, you don't think so if you break her heart. She can't bear that. She can't. Why, why do you think she cannot? She can't. She can't. Okay. I want to believe you know her, right? But you see, you don't know people much until when they're hurting. So exactly. what, I'm, what I'm going to say is, um, if you can, let that side chick go and focus on your wife. Uh, your wife definitely will not come around immediately. Your wife definitely will not respond to your sexual needs immediately. Your wife most times will not just give you the vibe you want. Right? If in a whole year, nothing has happened, it's what that would have done to her mentally is make her feel like, you know what, you can survive without sex. And so when you now want to start demanding for sex, she's wondering, I've stayed one year without it to so avoid use. So it's going to take you a whole lot, right? If it took you one year for her to date you, it's going to take you like three years or more for her to get back to you with that same mindset. Um, a lot of times when we do these things, you know, and this is basically because, you know, for you, there's a tradition that says a woman can't cheat. But I'm going to shock you. <laughs> you see, that tradition does not work in Lagos. So, except it's not these Lagos women that I know. You know, they really don't work anymore. Not like they don't work. They do work, right, where they work. But with the Lagos women we have now, this, you know, and if your wife can keep quiet for a whole year, then something is also wrong. It's either she has locked up totally or she's no longer interested. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Night with Soul Spice. Oh, hello, good evening, Ma. Good evening. Man, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Lagos. From Lagos. Okay, do you have a question or you want to join the conversation? I have a... Like, it's more like a question. I want to say it's a question, but... Uh, so this is it here. Oh, no, we lost her. Right. Um, please um, feel free to call us back. Do just try to call us back, right? Um, I'm so sorry for that. Um, I really do not know what you're going to say, but I hope you get back, you know, you get to get through and then we can resolve this. Okay, back to the topic for tonight. Um, let's not get carried away with calls, right? Because these calls have a way of, you know, diabetes and everything. So, now, the next one that we're talking about is our body. And I'm saying bodies because I'm talking basically to mothers. I understand the fact that you have added weight. I understand the fact that, you know, um, the tummy is big. I understand the fact that you're not who you used to be. You probably have stretch marks. I understand the fact that you have baggy tummies, right? Especially women with um, CS who have blue skin. Hello, good evening. Mm -hmm. Men always call if it's and where you're calling from. Hello. Hello. Hello?
it's a mindset thing, right? Um, we, we, we expect a certain body, but we are not grateful for what we have. So I'm going to say this, whatever it is you have, whatever body you have, if you know you are not ready to change it, and I love it, because you really want in bed and until you continuously experiment with them experiment with their bodies they probably will not know what they want right hmm? what what happened oh So how do we know? Not for phone fan, stand by. Stand by. What? Karen, what is penis? Huh? Tell me about penis. Is the Fanta code? Where is the Fanta? Okay, so, um, yeah. So I needed to do this, right? And the truth is, like I said, um, whether we like it or not, um, so let me start by apologizing for going off, right? We had network issues, so let's take me off but now i'm back anyways so you know i was talking about how your body shouldn't determine you know what to do and how not to do what to do right um if you cannot get a good body or get a new body basically then work what you have i think some of us have learned to um, lose weight and one of the things that comes with losing weight is loose skin until I have money for surgery, hello? Who's going to give money for surgery, right? But then, do I really want to do surgery, right? There are options. I've gotten options, right? But even those options, I'm like, ah, do I want to give my girl injection? Do I want to go and call her injection? You know, so mm. scary things. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Night with Old Spice. Good evening. Good evening. Man, where you're calling from? I'm calling from Abuja. Mabuja, why are you so calm? Are you okay? Um, I'm not actually okay. Okay, what's the problem? Before we go straight to the point, I want to ask you if you are single. If I'm single? Yeah. Oh, no, I've got three kids. And my last child is a year and four months. Okay. Um, let me go straight to the point. Um, my... Girlfriend mm -hmm. don't actually like me because of my I don't actually satisfy her something like that and I don't actually she don't want to understand me and it's not just only really her I have a lot before I have done before I met her and it's the same problem I'm having so I don't actually know. What the problem is? You're not satisfying your girlfriend, right? She tell you how you're not satisfying her. 
like if we should have sex uh-huh. and she tells I'm not fully satisfying her meaning we actually had the call over the adults and actually put full interest in that. So have you asked her how she how she would want to be satisfied? What she's looking out for? I have actually asked and she's telling me I should go and get help or something like that. So I don't actually know what to do because I me mean, I don't feel on the sun. I'm the one doing it and not she's not the one. So how will I now be the one like how will I satisfy? I don't know. So how long do you last in bed? On an average, how long do you think you last in bed? Um, I'm not actually sure because I don't. I'm not this kind of time with me. How long I stay in bed? I'm not actually sure. Do you actually do a lot of foreplay with her, or you just dive in? Okay, so we lost you there, right? Um. So. This is what I'm going to say, right? Um, you need to break these things down. What does she want, right? How does she want what she wants, right? Um, what are those things she would love you to do, right? Or add to your um, sexual activities to make her feel good. Um, does she want you to suck her more? Does she want you to finger her more? Does she want you to you know, tease her more? Does she want more romance, more cuddling? You know, does she want you to uh, give her the society of everything, right? Um, you need to find out. This is why I already said women don't know what they want. But you can tell you what they don't want. I don't like this. Ah, yeah, drink it up, that drink. I don't like that drink. Eh, hey, what drink do you like? I don't even know. Right? That's, that's a typical woman for you. I'm not saying all women, but most women, that's it. They do not know what they want, but yet they complain about what they don't want. I'm not the one who said it. It's all that. Right? So find out from your girlfriend what she wants. Um, what is she looking out for? I just want to hope that she's not trying to identify you as someone else. Right? But that being said, if she gets to communicate with you what she wants, how she wants to dress, probably she, you know, probably she has seen someone with an outfit, oh, I would love to have that outfit. That's the that's kind of outfit, outfit she wants to wear, right? And so um, I'm going to say communication. Talk to her. You know, it's not that hard. Find out, right? That way it's easier for you to work it around, right? And um, don't put yourself under unnecessary pressure. It's not until you last one hour. It's all about doing it right, you know, understanding when to pull out, when to pull in, you know, when to stimulate, when to cut it off. You need to understand and that's it. So now we're still talking about 10 greatest mistakes women make in the bedroom. We've talked about a whole lot, but I quickly want to rush through the remaining ones so that we can, you know, get a bit of it, right? Um, um, another one that I have not spoken about is hygiene. A lot of times we do not remember. For instance, you're back from work, you know, you're tired and you jump into bed or you dive into your bed, you just go to sleep. Ah! And see that towel with that pants. With that smell, you have used the bathroom how many times? Like, seriously? You know, we need to learn to be clean at every point in time. Because sex can come anytime. You know, the dick can slide inside of you whilst you're asleep. 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m. So why can't you go to bed? Why can't you go to bed clean, right? Um, take a shower. It won't cost you anything. You know, wash with loads of water. You know, feed your vulva, feed your vagina, feed your body, right? With loads of water and then, you know, you're good to go. Drink loads of water before you go to bed. But please, make sure you use the bathroom before you start sex so you don't start to all over the bed, right? Um, hygiene, shaving. If you don't want to shave totally, if you don't want to wipe it all off, you can groom it. I love people who groom. Right, like you just groom, like you know, all those gardeners when they have to cut the flowers and create this. And you can groom it, right? Just shake co -co 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 -co, very small, and you know, you can also be creative with your grooming, right? Um, you can make an arrow, you can do whatever it is you want, or you can decide to just, you know, go to the spa and get it out, right? You know, um, those of you that do those things, your aunt, you're your own. I tried it once, and I never looked back, right? Um, 
you know, so basically that's it. So what have we talked about? We talked about um, hygiene, not paying attention to your body, um, you know, doing the right thing, right? Um, not knowing what you want, right? You don't know what you want, but you're complaining about what you don't want, right? Um, not being proud of your body, that's three, right? Initiating sex, um, we don't initiate a lot, right? Um, four, right? Um, we talked about saying love making as a chore which is five we talked about um jumping hello. out of bed you know after sex hello, hello. good evening good evening brother may i know where good you're calling may i know where you're calling I'm from calling. please i'm calling from josh josh okay so tell me do you have a question or you want to join the conversation i have a question okay yeah. problem that i'm having with my girlfriend any time that want to make your photo with her, like, I'm trying to satisfy her and I'm talk her, try to make her happy, do everything she She just sneak like uh, this in no any reason. Immediately when I release, before she started making move, uh, I don't understand. I try to make her get move together and do. So that we can try each other, she she refuses. I want to back up. So, what exactly do you want? Hmm? What exactly do you want? Because she want to on top her, she she just lie down like that, uh, with no any move, not anything to make me happy to. It. So she so, just lays down on the bed, no movement. Yes, yes. So immediately when I release, then she started. Okay. And has she improved with the movement? Yeah? Has she improved her movement? No. Is she your wife or your girlfriend? Girlfriend. Do you want to marry her? Yes, yes. yes. When no, I get no, when no, I get no. you married? Next year, maybe I'm prepared for next year that I don't understand. Next year. Mm. Okay. So let me tell you what's going to happen. Right? Mm. And I'm going to be honest with you. I want to ask myself, if this were to be my, my brother, what would I say to my brother? So two things. If you don't fix it now, right, when you get married, mm. she's going to go back worse. You'll get 100% of what you're getting now in marriage. Which means in marriage, she's not going to move at all. Right? Um, so you either fix it now or you get this in marriage. And so when men like you get married and you start to complain of how your wives are not moving, the first question mm. is, did you have sex before marriage? Was she like this before marriage? And you're saying mm. yes, thinking that, oh, when we get married, she will change. No, she's not going to change. It's going to be worse. So yes. what you need is to find solution to this. Yes, that's what I mean. <laughs> So if you want to find a solution, when you ask her why she doesn't, what does she say? I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been asking her so many questions now. She cannot know any response. I'm trying to change her. I make moves, you know, so they make me happy, make me be enjoying the sex, you know. So is she a Christian or a Muslim? I don't know. But if somebody, I want to ask somebody, somebody tell me that it's a woman that doesn't come in time. So I say to her, it's like that, you may be, let, 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 let her make a move so that at least, if she cannot move, she'll just like, like a, a distant truth. So have you, have you tried, have you tried sex outside the bedroom? Have you tried to like, you know, have say maybe on the couch or something, if you want her to make yes, a move? Yes, in the, in the, in the, the 3 car, you know, in the, Carpet, maybe follow you something, you know. Maybe, you know, you know and maybe, she's still not moving. Something. Yes. Mm. And then you quickly, when, when, when I come at, at the man, you leave you everything, then you started holding me to shaking her body. After me, I got my man, I already leave, so there is no any thing on me again, too. She's enjoying, to enjoying it now. Like, Photo shake her, but that means you are good. Ah, she's good like that. She's ah, 
apa ikom so dari nanti akan rumo. Kita nak kau di musu so dah alis. So who is who is coming? Are you the one coming or she's the one coming? No, I immediately when I released before she started making movie, when I stopped making my body before she started making the car. Okay, so there's a probability that whilst you're shaking, mm. right, there probably might mm. be a mindset that that's when you're enjoying it. So maybe mm. that is a prompt for her to say, oh, he's enjoying it, so let me move so that he can do more, right? Um, mm. So what I'm going to say is, let us find out at what point does she start making the move? Is it every time you now vibrate that you shake? You know, when you yeah. come, that she makes the move. So is there a way we can yeah. try to vibrate without coming? To make her feel like you are coming and then she can make the move. If that is what works for her. Do you understand? Because your goal is for her to move. Now, at what point does she move? She moves when you, when you vibrate or when you shake. So can you try to shake without coming? And let's see if that can prompt her into, you know, moving her body and responding so that even when you're not going to come, you can enjoy your come. Can we try that? Yeah. Um, I'm also okay. looking at it from the mindset of, you know, programming, what she's been told, how they've been trained, how she's been groomed. You know, oh, you have to do it for your husband. Oh, whatever your husband wants it, you have to give it to him. Don't, don't, don't forget that women are not, they are not being trained to say, when you grow up, ask for sex. Do you understand? These yeah. are things I'm going to tell my kids. I'm going to tell my daughter, when it's time, babe, if you want sex, ask for sex. Initiate sex. Start it. Don't wait for him. Right? Because we've been told a lot of times that, oh, Anytime he's ready, anytime he comes for it, anytime he say, open your leg. So it's like a slave kind of mindset that you have to wait for your husband to ask for it. And that's why you have a lot of women who are receivers and not givers. But when you start to create that mindset that, you know what, you're a receiver and you're a giver. Sometimes the person who is giving you wants to receive too. It's a gift. You give and I give. It makes the person want to do more because once they receive, ah, no, her own is fine. I must give her 10 naira. Right? And so yeah. don't, don't, don't let us judge her for not moving. Let us look for her weak point. At what point does okay. she move? Let's do more of those things that makes her move so that we can gradually, you know, upgrade her, um, her movement into being adventurous. So you can say, okay, you know what? We are moving from the bed. Okay, let's go to the couch. Let's sit on the couch and let her sit on top. Or let's sit on the floor. You are not in charge. Let her sit on top. Let her ride you know, you. That way she's forced to move, right? So it's a gradual process. And I'm also going to say that someone who is not good today can be your boss in, in bed tomorrow. Don't forget that. She might not be good. She might not be moving today. Tomorrow, she might be tying you up tomorrow. So anything can happen. The question is, are you ready to groom her into who you want her to be? Because when you get married, you need your wife to be on the same level, if not more, sexually. Mm. Do you have any other question? No, you don't have any question. Because immediately when I finish, she will hold me tight and stretching her body until she sweat before she will leave me. She will leave me. She will hold me. <laughs> So let's, let's do more of that. Let's, let's do more of that and let's see how it reacts more. Do you understand? Let's do more of that for her. There is, there is, there is time that one, that I just, something just, something just happened once like that. But immediately when I release, she hold me, then my body doesn't come down. It's just, my feet just stand like that and we continue like that again. But do you enjoy when she does that? Do you enjoy it? Yes. It's only once, right? It cannot happen always, but that can't you know. <laughs> only one. I know. I know it's only one, but I'm saying you now have to create it, right? So you have mm -hmm. to, you have to pretend. That's what, I, what I, that's, that's what I mean. You have to pretend like mm -hmm. you're coming so that she can yes, hold think, you. Uh, yes, I've been pretending all the time. Now, when sometimes I've already waited, sometimes I will make my body just like that to whatever, you know.
trying to do that. So, so many ways, I try so many ways. That's why I'm asking this question order that is solution that is. Um, but but don't, don't worry, uh, right? Uh, let's groom her. Anything can happen. I don't I don't put a cross on people basically when it comes to sex. Because anything yeah. can happen, right? So let's groom her, let's be patient and let's see how this goes. Just give me feedback. Right? Um so yes, so that's it basically. Um so everyone who is trying to call in, people are still trying to call in and I'm super sorry I can't take all calls because it's almost twelve AM. But it's so bad that the rain has stopped. From what I can hear, I think it has stopped because I really wanted to go under the rain. Like, ah, oh, you don't understand, right? Um, but the truth about it is, please, in all the things I've talked about, right, women, stay clear. Stay clear. If you do all these things, let me know, right? Think about it and start to work on yourself, right? Don't fake it is one, right? Asking questions whilst you're at it is another Jumping out of it immediately after sex is a no-no, right? Seeing sex as a chore is another problem, right? Um, not initiating, right? Not being on top, right? Not giving is another issue we have. Not being proud of your body is another problem. Like I said, your body is your body. If you can't change it, love it. If you can, go change it, but be careful what you're changing so you don't find yourself in heaven looking for your body, right? Um... Not being able to tell your man what you want, but you are free and very strong in saying what you don't want. Women, change, right? Um, not paying attention to hygiene, clean of your body and all those things, right? Yeah, so those are the things you might really want to work on, right? And um, when we work on these things, if you know that you're in any of this category, please start to work on Like I said, you don't have to shift it. I'm not advocating for skin shaving and say if you cannot shave totally please go let's have um small scissors you know and you cut it and you groom your hair groom it neatly groom it beautiful comb it you know after grooming you can comb it like i said you can make designs out of it right arrow whatever it is depending on how free you want it to be um for those who might want to make designs you're wondering how do i make designs so let me just tell you if your hair is bushy and long just pull it up and cut right Make it on a smooth surface like a grass. Make all the edges clean the same way. And then you can probably use a pencil or something to draw out the design you want. And then you can shave that part out. Please be super careful. Those are so spicy, right? If you cannot shave it out based on the kind of design you're looking for, then you probably might want to use a shaving cream to create the effect. So that when the other part is, you know, is um, well... Um, marinated in the cream right it can come off right and then you can have your design so yeah grooming is a very good thing but at the same time if you're not grooming please make sure you are shaving as often as possible don't let the hair hang in between their teeth because you never can tell when they're going to bring their mouth down there so you have to always be clean clear for the married ones anything can happen anytime and you know this right so that's all i have for you today that's all i have for you tonight trust me um you might want to watch this episode again, you know, to refresh yourself and find out what you did not pick or what you did write about tonight's topic. Um, for women, please, these things I have called out, please help us help yourself, right, to clean yourself clean so that these men, um, you know, find it easy to eat you up, to lick you up and suck on you, right? Um, um, on this subject, they do have a sestastic night. So I come your way again, same time, same station, next week i am in your one and only hannah jonathan aka soul spice the sex Life. remember all we do on the show is bring your fantasy to reality and don't forget to follow me at sex stop with soul spice or as sex toys with soul spice underscore or as sex toys with soul spice backup page right so yes um see you again same time and don't forget let your friends and sisters know that they need to watch this episode again so they can pick where they are wrong and they can fix it immediately love you all see you again same station same time next week mm.